I want to do something, go right, and then there's another void that will say go left. That's not you. You overlook that one. You abandon that one. You neglect that one. The one that says, come to Jesus, this is the day. The one that says, bow to Jesus, this is your day. The one that says, confess to Jesus, this is your day. That's the one you listen to. But the other one that says, another thing, you're not going to listen to that. And so he said, Jesus, thou son of the most high, I adjure thee that by God that thou torment me not. That's not the man, that's the devil. I pray you will not yield to the voice of the devil. And the Lord is calling you. And as the Lord wants to set you free today, and he wants to give you this freedom in your spirit, in your soul, in your mind, in your inner man, and there is a desire. You want to be with the Lord. Any other voice that contradicts that, that says, why will you come? Look at this, look at this, look at that. That one is not your portion. And so in verse 8, look at verse 8, it says, And he said unto him, Come out of the man, thou unclean spirit. That's the final word. I said that the final word. Once the Lord speaks to that evil personality, he speaks to that evil power. He speaks to that evil spirit that had been controlling your life, tormenting your life, hurting your life, hindering your progress. Once the Lord says, come out of the man, thou unclean spirit, that very moment it will come out. You will be free. Like tonight, you are free. Yes. Verse 15 tells us the result. In verse 15, it tells us, it says in verse 15, and they come to Jesus. They wanted to come and see. And they see him that was possessed with the devil. He was no more. He was possessed, he was no more possessed at this time, who was possessed with the devil, and arch the legion. He arch the legion after Christ has spoken, after Christ has commanded, after the word of authority and the word of the decree of Christ had come, he didn't have the legion anymore, they were all gone. Today, they are all begun. And then it says, he was sitting, he was closed, and in his right mind. And they were afraid, they were surprised, they were amazed at the amazing freedom that Christ had given to the man. I want you to look at Mark chapter 9. And we're looking at verse 20, Mark chapter 9, verse 20. And they brought him unto him, that is, they brought the child, the boy, the son of the man that had the torment of the devil. They brought that child to him, to Christ. And when he saw him, straightway the spirit cheered him. And he fell on the ground and wallowed for me. Verse 21. In verse 21, and Jesus and he asked his father, How long is it ago since this came unto him? And he said of a child. In verse 22, and he said, And of times he has cast him into the fire and into the waters to destroy him. But if thou canst do anything, have compassion on us and help us. Did Jesus help him 
Yes, and Jesus Christ the same. Yesterday, today, and forever. Will Jesus help you today? His compassions, they fail not. His compassions, they reach unto heaven. His compassion is from generation to generation, from man to man, from one woman to another woman, from one child to another child. His compassion is still there today. And he says, if thou canst do anything, my friend, you can do everything. The creator of the earth, can do everything. The one that you call our problems, all our sins, all our sickness, that you call our problems to the cross of Calvary. He can do everything. The one that is not willing that anyone should perish. He doesn't want the sinner to perish. He doesn't want the sufferer to perish. He doesn't want even the scorner to perish. He doesn't want any man, anywhere, anytime, in any generation. He doesn't want anyone to perish. He can help he will help. Tonight, he will help you. Tonight, he will deliver you. And look at what Jesus said in verse 23. In verse 23, Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe. That's all we need. I told you, all we need is to understand. The one who created the whole earth with a single word, he can do everything. Believe that. The one who says, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. He invited you already. And because he invited you, you can believe. If thou canst believe, the one who has set people like you in days gone by, he has healed many people, he has delivered many people, he has taken drug addicts, and he has taken the drug away from them the person was giving peace of my rest in their soul to other people is here for you and so you ought to believe it and if thou canst believe all things are possible to him that believeth I believe I believe they can deliver every demon possessed here tonight. I believe he can set free anyone that is bound with any yoke and any chain and any fetters. He can deliver everyone like that tonight. And your own time has come. He will deliver you. In Hebrews chapter 2, reading from verse 14, Hebrews Chapter 2, reading from verse 14, for as much then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same, that he through death might destroy him that had the power of death. That is the devil. He has died for us. And he has fulfilled the prophecy that the serpent will bruise his heel. But the Son of God, the seed of the woman, will blow up, will destroy, will crush the head of that serpent. That serpentine spirit in your life, the head is crushed tonight that demonic power tormenting your life and wanting to make you live like an animal instead of living a dignified life of a real child of God, that demonic devil, that demonic serpent, the head is crushed tonight in Jesus' name. Look at verse 15, in verse 15, and deliver them who through fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. Those who are subjected themselves to bondage because of the power of the evil one. Tonight, deliverance has now come. In 1 John chapter 3, we're looking at verse 8. Verse 8. John, 1 John chapter 3, verse 8. He that committeth sin is of the devil, for the devil sinneth from the beginning. For this purpose, for this reason, 
to this end because of this it says the son of god was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil it is finished all the works of the devil finished the torment of the devil finished and the dribbling of the devil drive you here drive you there and drive you everywhere all the dribbling of the devil finish and destroy tonight in jesus name amazing freedom is coming to you because of what christ has done what christ has accomplished what christ announced what christ decreed and he said it is finished that amazing freedom is come tonight and you're free from all the shackles of the devil we're coming to number two number two is the announced freedom from the from sickness and disease sickness there are many kinds of sickness all manner of sicknesses the lord will deliver you tonight internal painful terrible long-standing your healing has come tonight freedom from sickness and freedom from uh, disease anything that takes your ease away that takes your peace away that takes your mind you, you cannot even think of any other thing all you can think of is the pain you have is the oppression you have is the destruction of different parts of your body you cannot think of any good any good work any good intention all that pain has taken your attention away from a bright future a great future but that they announced freedom from sickness and disease who makes the announcement you make the announcement the woman made the announcement that if i may only touch the hem of his garment i shall be made whole your word will set you free the word of faith in your mouth the word of expectation coming from your mouth and the word of assurance that today is my day are you blind you make the announcement i will see you are you deaf and dumb you make the announcement for your son for your daughter for your wife for your husband they will hear they will see are, they, are you bedridden you've been there for a long time and it appears huh, maybe i should be preparing to go home because this sickness may take my life your watch can sell you into the hands of that disease but your word can also set you free and you say i shall be made whole can you say it now i'm going to get well tonight i'm, I'm delivered tonight i am set free tonight our words can set us free announced freedom from sickness and disease we're looking at mark chapter 5 you remember all these three cases come from mark chapter 5 mark chapter 5 reading from verse 25 and a certain woman which had an issue of blood 12 years verse 26 in verse 26 and had suffered many things of many physicians and had spent all that she had and was nothing better just going down and down and down and might soon end in the grave but rather she grew worse worse and worse declining in health declining in strength declining in life because she was getting worse and worse by the day in verse 27 verse 27 says when she had heard of jesus thank god i have heard of jesus thank god i have heard of jesus i've read about him 
both in the Old Testament and the New Testament, a child is born. A son is given to us, and his name shall be called Wonderful, the Mighty God, and the Father of eternity. I have heard of Jesus. I followed him in the New Testament, in Capernaum, in Nazareth, and in all the places everywhere, healing the sick, and Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and forever. I have heard of Jesus, and here you are at the GCK, at the crusade, and you are hearing about Jesus, and the moment you hear about Jesus, everything you heard that Jesus can do, he will do in your life. When she had heard of Jesus came in the press behind, and touched his garment. Verse 28, in verse 28, it says, For she said, If I, I'm not going to call Peter to come and touch Jesus for me, I will touch him myself. I'm not going to call Mary to come and touch Jesus for me, I will touch him myself. I'm not going to send somebody go and touch Jesus for me, I will touch Jesus myself. Where you are, Christ is by your side right there. And the moment you stretch out your hand of faith, you touch him tonight, your healing will be deposited in your body. If I may but touch his clothes, I shall be whole. Then in verse 29, and straightway the fountain of her blood was dried up. That sickness tonight will dry up. Yeah. That pain tonight will dry up. Yeah. That difficulty challenge to rise and to walk, everything will dry up. And that thing, is it pile? That pile will dry up. Is it cancer? That cancer tonight will dry up. Is it ulcer? Look at that. That thing is drying up already. Is it abscess? You know, something they give you whatever, and then it formed an abscess and pores coming out. Praise the Lord, I see it drying up. It says, and it dried up. And she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. And then we're told in uh, verse 29. In verse 29, straight away the fountain of her blood was dried up and she felt it in her body. You feel it in your body. You feel the joy in your heart that she was healed. I'll feel it, I am healed. I am healed of that plague. It will not come back to me anymore. <laughs> Say it with assurance. It will not come back to you anymore in Jesus. And look at verse 30. In verse 30, it says, And Jesus immediately knowing in himself that virtue had gone out of him, turned him about in the press and said, who touched my clothes? Well, eventually look at verse 34 there. In verse 34, here we're told about why it happened and how it's going to happen unto you. And he said unto her, daughter, thy faith has made thee whole. Go in peace and be whole of thy plague. Twelve years of harassing problem, issue of blood, wasting away, that thing in a moment was healed at that time. And all the problems were brought here. As you look unto Jesus, as you announce your own freedom, and you say, I'm going to believe in Jesus tonight. And as I believe, and I touch him by faith, I will be made whole. Heaven has confirmed that. The whole Bible has confirmed that. And your faith has confirmed it in Jesus' name. Look at 2 Corinthians chapter 4, 
We're looking at verse 13. Second Corinthians chapter 4, verse 13. We, having the same spirit of faith, we, having the same spirit of faith, the same spirit of faith like that woman who has spent a lot of money and yet she never got any better. The same spirit of faith with that woman who set the time for healing and said, the moment I touch him, I shall be made whole. The same spirit of faith with that woman that said, 12 years will not add another day. Enough is enough. I'm not going to have that disease anymore today. At this moment, at this very minute, the moment I touch him, I'm through. The moment you touch Jesus tonight, you're through. Blind eyes will open. The lame will rise up and walk. And if you're on radio, if you are on the television, if you are online, the, the time we mention the name of Jesus. And you said, that's mine, that's mine, that's mine. Wherever you are, in this country, in any other country, Africa, beyond Africa, the moment you hear the name of Jesus and you claim that, and you said, that's mine, that moment tonight you are healed in Jesus' name. Because it says we, having the same spirit of faith, according as it is written. I believe, therefore, have I spoken. We also believe and therefore speak. Your word, Christ will take your word and then he will make it personal and send it to the throne of the Father. And your word will come through Christ and go to the Father, and you are free tonight in Jesus' name. But remember, I announce my freedom from sickness and disease, from torment, from torture. I declare my freedom from pain and plague. Even before it happens, I announce. Have you announced your own? I said, have you announced your own? It will happen. Yeah. We're coming to number three now. Number three, we're looking at applicable freedom from the spirit of death. Let me explain. Applicable. This girl was actually dead, but you are not dead. Say, I am not dead. Say, I will not die premature death. The Lord confirmed that in your life in Jesus' name. But, but, there are different parts of the body that sometimes it's like they're dead. The nerves dead, and so you cannot um, fold your hand. The knees dead, and so you don't even have any feeling there, and you cannot carry it, and some parts of the kidneys dead, and because they are dead, they are not functioning anymore. The cells in the brain, they say that one is dead, and this that one is dead, and different parts of the brain, they have those dead cells there, and because they are dead, you cannot remember, you cannot remember, call you cannot uh, do anything uh, and your brain cannot send information instruction uh, to your hand to your feet or different parts of your body and the membranes or the, the thing in the ear is dead and because they are dead I cannot hear those things are still there the elements or whatever they're still there but they are dead and then your throat you cannot speak because the vocal cord is dead whatever is is dead in any area, any part of your body. They're coming alive tonight in Jesus' name. Yeah. You remember Abraham? Concerning Abraham, the word of God says that she didn't stagger. He didn't stagger at the promise of God because the part, reproductive part of Sarah, the wife, was dead. She wasn't dead, but that part of the body was dead. And he believed in God, life came. 
I didn't hear the amen I was waiting for. And child laughter was born. Laughter born in your life today. Joy born in your life today. Excitement, excitement that what was dead in my body has now come alive. Life will come to you. In Mark chapter 5, verse 35. Mark chapter 5, verse 35. While he yet speak, there came from the ruler of the synagogue's house certain which said, Thy daughter is dead. Your daughter will not die. Your son will not die. Whoever is bringing that message of death to you and say, don't pray anymore, don't expect anymore, and they don't have faith anymore, Jesus tells you, be not afraid, only believe. And anybody that will come to you and say, ah, don't mind Jesus, be afraid, don't believe the Spirit of God will drive that person away from you. It says, a certain we said, thy daughter is dead, why troublest thou the master anymore? Verse 36, in verse 36, as soon as Jesus heard the word that was spoken, well, you need to understand, Jesus does not walk by the word your neighbors speak, your friends speak, your enemies speak, the observers speak. Where did you go? I went for crusade, GCK. Where did you go? I want a solution to my problem. And then your neighbor will say, I don't think you of all people. Do you think anything will happen? You don't listen to what word they say. I will not listen. In the word Jesus has said, now he said he heard what that person, what that neighbor said. He said to the ruler of the synagogue, be not afraid, only believe. You have a choice who to believe. A man who doesn't have all knowledge, a man who doesn't have, who doesn't know the future, a man who does not know the power of the miracle worker. He tells you something, make your choice. But Jesus, the creator, the miracle worker, the healer, the one that has the power to raise the dead, he says, be not afraid. I'm still alive. Jesus is still alive. Is still the problem solver. It will solve your problem. Is still the promise keeper. It will keep his promise. It will touch you today. You'll never be the same again in Jesus' name. Only believe. And as soon as he said that, look at verse 41. In verse 41, and he took the damsel by the hand and said unto her, Talita Komai, which is being interpreted, damsel, I say unto thee, say it aloud, arise. And as soon as Jesus said that, and he will speak to you today, arise from the bondage, arise from the yoke, arise from the trauma, arise from the demon possession. Arise from that disease. Arise, get away from that spirit of death. It will happen. He said, I say unto thee, arise. And then verse 42, here is your story. And straightway the damsel arose and walked. Straightway, immediately, that child that was dead and people already crying outside and then at the veranda oh me oh mine how can this happen this one is still young jesus said shut up your enemies will shut up 
those who are crying for you, they will now laugh. Joy will come to your family. Remember, be not afraid, only believe. Only believe. You believe Christ. You believe in God. You believe the sacrifice he made on the cross of Calvary. And straightway, immediately, the damsel arose and walked. For she was of the age of 12 years. And they were astonished with a great astonishment. Now your own miracle has arrived. Christ is here. I said Christ is there. The Savior is there. The healer is there. The deliverer is there. And whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord will be saved, will be healed, will be delivered, will come alive. Are you ready? Are you ready? It's bowed and eyes closed. It's bowed and eyes closed. The Lord wants to set you free from sin, from the shackles of Satan. He wants to set you free from your guilt, from the condemnation. He wants to set you free from the powerlessness against temptation in your life. He wants to set you free and give you forgiveness and give you salvation. It can happen right now that you'll be able to see it. You'll be able to have a normal mind peace of mind rest in your soul. You'll be able to have freedom from guilt and condemnation. Wherever you are, you raise up your hand, you say, Lord Jesus, I'm here. You've been talking to me. You've been telling me you're going to give me freedom tonight, and I've been waiting for this time. I'll have the chance to only believe to believe in my Savior who died for me. Here I am, Lord. Raise up that hand. If you're raising up your hand, please stand up and say, Lord, I want your salvation. I want your freedom. I want your forgiveness. I want your regeneration, a renewed life, a renewed heart, a renewed mind. And I want total freedom from the yoke, from the shackles of my sins. Set me free, Lord. Wherever you are, just raise up your hand and stand up and say, Lord, I'm here. That freedom, that forgiveness, that salvation comes to me tonight. We're going to pray, so hurry up and stand in the cage that I want total freedom from the bondage of my sin. We're going to pray now. Keep on standing and keep your hands raised. Indicate to the Lord, I want the freedom you have brought. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you because you love us so much, you don't want us to die. You don't want us to perish. You do not want us to end in the eternal lake of fire. Therefore, you have sent the Lord Jesus to be our Savior, to be our Redeemer. You have sent Jesus to be the one that gives, that grants us total freedom. Lord, I pray for all here and all everywhere and all online, radio, television, anywhere that want your total freedom from every form of sin. Deliver them and save them in Jesus' name. According to your promise, forgive everyone who repents. 
according to your promise, forgive everyone and give them freedom as they believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And I pray, Lord, that you, that chain, that those fetters and the shackles of sin will not pull them back into their past life again in Jesus' name. And I pray they will not perish. They will live in Christ. They will live through Christ. They will live for Christ. Confirm the freedom and the salvation for everyone believing right now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for the freedom, for the salvation, for the peace of mind, for the rest in their soul. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Keep on standing. Our counselors are there, and they will give you the sleep to feel so we can keep on helping you to remain in the freedom, salvation that the Lord has given you now. We're we'll calling on our uh, moderating overseer to help us now with this counseling session. Let's attend to everyone. Let's attend to every one of them. You are welcome to the kingdom of God. There is joy in heaven over your life. Let's attend to them. Counsel us. Take them one by one. Give them the name by which you are known. State to them your, the, uh, the street where you live, the nearest bus stop. Let them know if today is your first day of giving your life to the Lord, or maybe you were once born again, you went back to the world, now you are restored. Let them know it's restoration. Counselors, write down all. Counselors, even when you finish, remain where you are. There's still another assignment. Remain where you are. And when you have finished, please you raise the red flag so that we know you finished where you are. The rest of us, as we are waiting, get prepared for your miracle. You can see the problem Jesus solved. What is it in your life? Is it disease or sicknesses? It will take them away. Today, supernatural freedom for you. Are there cells in your body dead? is going to quicken them and make them alive. Get ready. You can even start saying bye-bye to your problems because you will not see them again after the prayer. After the last amen, you will not see them again. Cancel us. When you finish where you are, look to where there are still people and attend to them. If you finish in any of the spots, raise the flag up 
and let's know you finished. If you gave your life to the Lord and they have not attended to you, wave your hand at them. They come to you. The counselors are those either in choir uniform or in their own vests. Let's be fast. At the middle, have you finished? Indicate if you are finished. Counselors, remain where you are. Don't go to your seat. Remain where you are. It's almost time for miracles to flow. It will touch you. Tell yourself it will touch me. It's going to touch you. Touch every part of your life. Diseases, sicknesses, dead cells, or whatsoever problem you have been going through. Today is the obituary. You won't see them any longer. They disappear from your life. It appears at the middle you finish. Those by my right hand side, have you finished? Okay, God bless you. You finish there. At my left hand side, have you finished? I'm not seeing hands. Left hand side, have you finished? Okay, here. At the extreme there, have you finished? Okay, counselors, remain where you are. You will assist the people. As the pastor pray, you listen to all instruction, there will be a confirmation upon their lives, upon your life. There shall be showers of blessings. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. You stand up. For your miracle. If you cannot walk, you saw all that has been happening in every country, get ready to walk. Praise the Lord. I am ready for my miracle. You are now sage. Your own freedom. You declare it. Your own freedom. And when you announce and declare, nobody can reverse that. You will give testimony. You will experience total freedom. Today will be the beginning of a new vibrant life for you in Jesus' name. 
Identify the problem you have and lay one hand there and raise up the other hand. Remember, we having the same spirit of faith. We believe and therefore we have spoken. She said and she got it. You say it, you will get it. Raise up one hand, lay the other hand where you have the challenge. Focus on your healing, focus on the miracle, focus on the great possibility of the name of Jesus, and it is done. Father, we come to you. You are a God of love, a God of mercy, a God of compassion, a God that has never failed, and you will not fail any of your people here today in Jesus' name. And those who are online, everywhere, every congregation, every community, every country, Lord, I pray, touch everyone in Jesus' name. As the 12-year-old is your blood dried up, I pray, all the plagues, all the sicknesses, all the disease, all the pain, everything dry up now in Jesus' name. Lord, touch the brain, touch the mind, touch the bones, touch every part of their lives, touch them where they ache, touch them where they have pain, touch them when they have any disease. And I pray every form of disease will vanish away in Jesus' name. Blind eyes be opened in Jesus' name. Deaf ears begin to hear in Jesus' name. Dumb tongues be loose and begin to speak in Jesus' name. Steve joints, elbow, shoulder, ankle, wherever, all the stiffness vanish away in Jesus' name. Incurable so-called disease be healed right now. And those uh, demon oppressions, oppressions in any life, you demon, whatever number I command you, come out in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray everything they found impossible in the past will be possible right now. They believe you, I believe you, we believe you together. And I pray your mighty power be manifested in every life for total freedom in their body and total healing in their body and total deliverance in their lives right now in Jesus' name. Confirm the miracle everywhere. To the right, to the left, to the back, to the center, everywhere, the power for freedom. The power that sets every captive free. And the power that breaks every yoke. And the power that removes every disease, every sickness, manifest right now in everyone in Jesus' name. Immediate miracle instantaneous miracle immediate healing instantaneous healing deliverance for everyone joy everywhere manifestation everywhere deliverance demonstration of god's power everywhere right now thank you lord thank you lord thank you lord we know it is done in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. It is done. You see it right there. The miracle has happened already. And as you discover the miracle, you start coming out. I want to hear your testimony. It is done. Heaven sees your problem gone. You see your problem gone. Wherever you are, what's where you are not able to do before, start doing it now. And as you discover your miracle, shout praise the Lord and start coming out. Everybody, wherever you are, check yourself. 
counselors check, check them and bring them out. It has taken place. It has happened. Start coming out. Let me hear the shout of healing everywhere now. Wherever you are, shout the shout of healing now. It is done. Start coming out. Wherever you are, start coming out. You were not able to walk. Stand up and walk. Everyone has released the power. Stand up and walk. And start coming out now. Right to my left hand side here under the canopy. Start coming out. Start coming out. Start coming out. Let there be shout of jubilation now. As they are coming out, start moving out. Start moving. It's happening. It's going to happen. It's happening there. It's happening around you there. Start coming out. Counselors, bring them out. You start coming out. Start coming out. Start coming out. Start coming out. Move out to my left hand side under the canopy here. Start coming out. Start coming out. Start clapping your hands for Jesus now as they are coming out. Clap your hands for Jesus and start responding. Come out. Bring them out. It has happened. It has happened. It has happened. The sick are healed. It has happened. The lame walking. It has happened. Bring them out. Wherever they are. Bring them out, the deaf hearing. Bring them out. Bring them out. Start coming out. Start coming out. Start coming out. We we'll soon be listening to testimonies. Start coming out. It has happened. On my right hand side, it has happened. At the middle, it has happened. At the left hand side, it has happened. Start coming out. Bring them out. Bring them out. Bring them out. You come out yourself. You know what God has done in your life. Check yourself. What we are not able to do before, start doing it. It has happened. It has happened. Start coming out. Start coming out. Start coming out over there. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. I see you giving testimony. It has happened. Check yourself and come out and let the, uh, the, the counselors interview you, the overseers there, so that we give you time to testify. Not only here, globally, the power has been released. Wherever you are, globally, in Asia, in Europe, in America, in Australia, in America, wherever you are, check yourself. The power already has struck you. The problem is no more there. You start sending your message down now via social media so that we can listen to your testimony. Start coming out, start coming out, start coming out. Start coming out. Nobody should go anywhere. Stay where you are there. Start coming out. coming out bring them out the lame walking out bring them out the blind seeing bring them out the deaf hearing bring them out those with four doctors calling curable sicknesses check yourself as go on start coming out we are waiting for you come and glorify God with your testimony start coming out our overseers, as we interview them, let's start lining them up for testimonies. 
come and give your own testimony. It has happened. The problem is no more there. You are free. Supernatural freedom has touched you today. You receive your spiritual freedom. Start coming out. Start coming out, please. Those who have interviewed, bring them out for testimonies. Our social media audience, get prepared for your testimony. Check yourself. The pie is still moving. The power is still moving, is flowing all over you, rolling away all sicknesses, all diseases, all dead cells are quickened and made alive. With God's creative power, He has touched you. Start coming out to give your testimony. Check yourself. If you don't check, you won't see it. Check. It has happened. Check yourself. Bring out those you've interviewed, please. Social media, where you are ready, let's know. As you are seeing interviewing people here. Please bring them out. Why they are giving your testimony? You are still there. Check yourself and join them. Check yourself and join them. You can see the finger of God. You can see the power of God, the young. We're listening to the first testifier now. As you hear, you will rejoice, and your own is confirmed already. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My name is Praise the Lord. My name is Dr. Olafisu Ikali, a consultant and pediatrician. We have some of our brethren tonight that come here to testify. I'll call on precious Mina to share our testimony. Praise the Lord. I am a sister. We are in BMH. 
When we were there, she could, I was holding her before she can sit down. And when I went for the test, they said she had liver and kidney problem. But they told me that I should lead her to Christ because the liver had rise to 100 and the kidney is bad already. But when they say I should go and lead my sister to Christ, that night I say I will give myself three nights of no sleep that my, God will give her a new kidney. And I prayed, I say, I now see how people used to stand on the pulpit and say, I pray and call the God of Pastor Kumuyi. I call the God of Pastor Kumuyi. That day, it was my turn. I say, God of Pastor Kumuyi, give my sister a new kidney. God of Pastor Kumuyi, I was just praying and crying, shouting to God. And God did it. To cut the long story short, God provided somebody that just came to meet me. I've never seen them before. They said they would do the first dialysis. They did the second one. And I've done dialysis six times. I said I cannot do it again. All of a sudden, on Monday, as I was going to Bible study, my sister asked me, when is Pastor Kumuyi coming to Botakot? I, don't, I was shocked. I look at her like this. I say it's July. But God made it to be this June. Praise the Lord. When rain was falling, we were, I asked her to stop at the church. Let me get the seat. Before she can reach the seat here, she has sit down several times. So after the prayer of pastor, I asked her to walk from here to that place. If she can walk from this place we are sitting to that place there, then I will know that she's okay because she cannot go far. But she walked, and even when she was supposed to be tired, she was lifting her leg. So I believe that she's okay in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Let her, let her also testify. Give her. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Our sister had what we call the chronic kidney disease. She had been on dialysis, several dialysis. But tonight, she could not walk a short distance. But after the prayer of the man of God, she was able to walk to, I mean, to where, we share, where she shared testimony. Praise the Lord. Let's hear from her. Let's hear. Praise the Lord. I want to thank God for today. Today is for me. And I pray this healing will remain permanent in my life. In it's Jesus. permanent. Every sickness is this in my life. I pray that God will take it away from me today and set me free. You forgive me my sins in Jesus' name. He has taken away your sickness, your sins. As you are confessing now, they are taken away. Only believe you are free. She is free. Amen. You can see her walking. You can see her walking. That is the evidence. Kidney problem removed. No more dialysis. She is free. The next testifier. The next that file before me is blessed. He had not to. I will allow him to share his testimony. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I want, to, I want to thank God for what the Lord has done for me. For the past one week now, I had injuries on my leg and I've been struggling with it to walk. So on Monday, I hear that Pastor Kumi is coming to Port, Port Harcourt to minister to us. So I now I told my mom about it, that I'll be coming to Rumudara to come and stay for the, for the message. And today now, I have received my healing. 
When Pastor Kumi said the last amen, I received the healing. When he said that I should do what I've never, I've not been doing before, I stood up and started walking, walking, walking. So, and, and I thank God for what he has done for me. Walk, Praise walk, the walk, Lord. Walk, 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 walk. He's free. Praise the Lord. A brother has a multiple leg injury. Now after the prayer of the man of God, he received his healing. You saw him walking about. Praise the Lord. the Lord. I say praise the Lord. My name is Sister Rosalind Ohia. By God's grace, I'm saved. I got saved when uh, our pastor came to River State and he walked in front of me. As he walked in front of me, the next thing, what I saw in the night, I woke up to pray. The Spirit of God ministered to me that I was very dirty, very, very dirty. So I started weeping, started crying, said, God, please forgive me my sins, forgive me my sins. So the next thing I saw, I worked for, for some time then, I dozed back because it was very early, around that four. So as I slept back, I dozed, dozed off then, I saw myself alone, everybody would stand to give account of him or herself. Nobody will say it's my husband, my child, my whatever. So I saw myself alone in a lighted place. That, that wasn't the salvation. I, I was busy doing some things. I think those things represented the sins. And the lights all went off. I saw somebody from the sky shouting my name. Rosalind, Rosalind, why have you put off the light? I said, it's not me. The sinner doesn't know. She's the person or himself putting off the light. So I explained, I said, it wasn't myself who put off the light. I saw the light, but I was busy doing some things. And the, the light all went off. So the person that called my name from the sky said I should come and see his master, his ogre. So the next place I saw myself, I stood in front of uh, two men seated. The one on the right hand said, why have you put off the light? Say, I'm not the one that put off the light. Oh. I wasn't the one that put off the light. Say, as he was talking to me, the light came back. He said, you see, I've restored the light. Make sure I don't put it off. I spent a lot of money to put this light. I would have made you pay for it, your free go. So that was how I got my salvation. Praise the Lord. And by God's grace, God has been keeping me. I got sanctified. I saw on sin hand, washed my heart was brushing my heart. I said, ah, what is happening to me? Physically, I was feeling it. And from that time, I love God with all my heart, with all my soul, with all my spirit, by the grace of God. And God filled me with the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. I want to give testimony of two things that happened in two crusades. One from Calabar Crusade. I used to have pains around my ribs area. My husband is here, he can testify, I will use hot water to be present. I'll say, what's wrong with me now? What type of thing is this now? So the Calabar Crusade on Sunday, as our GS was analyzing how we can get our miracles, he got to Isaiah. As he was talking on Isaiah, the Spirit of God from the screen came upon me, and I started uh, speaking in tongues, sort of so, but I controlled myself. After the service, my husband said, ah, why now? Why did you shout like that inside church now? I said, ah, will I behave like this? Will I behave like this? So as we got to the house, he went to open the door. As he was about to open the door, the Spirit of God said, check that thing. It's not there. The Holy Spirit removed it. From that day till now, it's gone. And gone forever. Amen? The next one, I think, is from Taraba, Taraba Crusade. 
uh, some bad people visited us and they pushed me down for about I think four times and my leg was paining me, my right leg. If I walk from here to that place, I will bend down on the road a little before I will stand up again. My children are here, uh, they can testify. When we're going to school, I will bend down on the road before I will say, yeah, let's continue. I will bend down again. So, G.S., he was saying, if thou canst believe, if thou, I said, but I believe now. I may believe, I believe now. So, after I, I, I now assured myself, I, said, I believe now. God, heal this my leg for me now. Randolph, Step Randolph. Up. Yes, sir. So, after the prayers, we got to the house. That night, unseen hand came and was holding my leg. I woke up, I felt it. I said, who is touching my leg now? Who is touching my leg? Then I called my husband. I said, did you touch me? Did you touch my leg? From that day to today, I can trek from here to anywhere. Praise the Lord. Healed, perfectly healed. We listen to audience from social media now before we come back to our far location. The surge of supernatural freedom is evident and everywhere as lives are being blessed. We take you right now to the official Facebook page of the General Superintendent. Sister Miriam saying, praise the Lord. I have been having knee pains, but the pain is gone after the prayer of the man of God. Praise the Lord. Also on YouTube, we have a testimony from Sister Juliana Amen, who testified of how the Lord miraculously healed her of blood coughing out blood from her mouth and her nose. After the prayer of the man of God, she is totally whole. All of those pain, all of those blood are all seized. Praise the Lord. Also from the Facebook page, Hannah Owosu is saying, praise the Lord for his healing said i've been feeling pain in my breast but after the prayer of the man of god i received my healing praise the lord feeds from the gs official facebook page from precious azori bay testify of being permanently healed of bp praise the lord the power of god is so evident as hepzibah is saying praise the lord I am healed of a tumor in my head, and also the lumps in my body and breast disappeared. Praise the Lord. We have this from you too. Patience, Ibitoye, testify of being healed totally of moving objects, pain, and all sorts of things that are disturbing her in her body. After the prayer of the man of God, all of those feelings are all gone. Praise the Lord. Indeed, we can say tumults are disappearing. As we bring you this testimony all the way from Kumasi, Ghana, um, Aku Wheels is saying, Praise the Lord. I've been suffering from breast tumor for some months now. And I was placed on surgery because I was ex I was, she said she was experiencing several pain um, on her breast. But glory be to God. She said she didn't undergo the surgery, but after the prayer of the man of God, she received her healing. The breast tumor disappeared. The pain is gone. Praise the Lord. Cue back to the overseer. Please remain where you are. The Palafai School, come back to your seat. Our father is still sitting. Come back to your seat. Those who are moving, remain where you are. That is disrespect. As a father is still sitting and you are going home, come back to your seats. Quickly now do that. We continue with testimony from Alpha location. Yes, ma'am. I'll call on the next testifier, Alex Lucky. Can share your testimony. Church, praise the Lord. Church, praise the Lord. Okay, I want to thank the Lord for all what God has been doing for me. But I want to most thank Him for how He healed me of my back pain for over a year now. 
I've been having this severe back pain at my spine. So sometimes it does affect me at work. I might go to work and after sometimes to feel as it, it to be as if the thing just struck me and I'll just feel weak at that moment. My boss will ask, ah, Alex, what's wrong? I'll say, it's my back. He has been, I've been complaining of this for so long. But as at the GCK last month, on a Sunday, I pray that, God, please, I don't want this back pain to continue throughout this year. I want it to end today. And on, that mo on the, next, the next Monday, that evening, I didn't, throughout that day, I didn't feel that back pain again. So I wanted to give my testimony, but I said I should wait and check. So I've checked throughout up to today, I've no longer felt that back pain. Praise the Lord. The back pain is gone. The problem is spinal cord totally removed. Let's listen to orchestra now as yes. they glorify the Lord. I will call her the next testifier, Favor Kuru. Can go ahead and share testimony. Praise the Lord. I want to thank God for his grace and his faithfulness, what the Lord has done for me tonight. Somebody gave me a flyer, invited me to this program. It's my first time I'm coming to this Deeper Life Church. And all the way from Dio, but I decided to come for this program. And while I was yet at the back, I I will have very, I went out and I came back in the night, so I slept. So as I wake up the next day, my waist pains, I was, I cannot bend like this. I was very terrible for six months, but now I can bend. Now you can bend. Oh, oh, the praise. The Lord who has done it, we say, may his name alone be exalted. We also pray for this, our man of God. God should give him more long life and more grace. Amen. More prosperity, successful. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. Bend again, bend again, bend again. Bend again. Yes, yes. Who has done it? He has done your own also. Our brother had a chronic back pain for some more than a year. But after the prayer of the man of God, he received his healing. Praise the Lord. I call on the next testifier. Precious. Akwam. Sorry. Pardon me, Timothy. Can go ahead and share testimony. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My name is Timothy Obademi. And since I joined Deeper Life Bible Church back there in Castina, during my youth service, things are getting better for me every day. I have many testimonies, but I just want to give this one because of our time. 2018, I had an accident inside passport boat. And the, thing, the accident affected my private part. I didn't know that I had a problem. So when I married, I had issue. We had issue of conception. So I went to Save a Life Hospital here in Port Harcourt. So the doctor, they diagnosed me after a series of examination. They said I have morphological issue. And they placed me on drug. So actually the drug worked. But the pain was there. I cannot tight my bed. I don't, that's why I don't talk in. I don't talk in. I fly my shirt all around there. And I sleep naked. I, don't, I can't wear boxer. I can't wear anything that once it touches my scrotum, the pains down to my head. So, but during one of the GCK, the one that was held before Aqua Ibn O, Though I was not around, I was in, I traveled. And I hooked up to the program 
while in my hotel room. I've been touching that pray, pray, during prayer, but that particular day, I touched it while the prayer was going on. Lo, after the prayer, I felt relief. And continually, to today, the pain disappeared and everything got normal. And as I'm speaking to you, I can sit down, tighten my bed. You can see. Before, I don't do that. I said, God who has done it, may his name be glorified in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Our brother had what we call epididymoocitis. Epididymoocitis. When he touched the testes, severe pain. But after the prayer of the man of God, the pain vanished away. Can we praise the Lord for this? to social media now as we listen to social media audience. Torrents of testimonies have been pouring in from the various social media houses. We have these from YouTube. A mortal of glory testified of being healed instantly of abnormal swelling on her abdomen after the prayer of the man of God. Praise the Lord. Indeed, the current is so high. As we bring you this testimony from Facebook, Shina Ade is saying, Praise the Lord. I am healed of severe pain I was having at the right side of my back. But after the prayer of the man of God, I received my healing. Praise the Lord. Also, Gloria David has testified of being healed of staph, malaria, and typhoid fever that has kept her down for the past week, after the prayer of the man of God, she is completely whole. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Akuna Christiana is saying, praise the Lord. I am saved from sin, self, and Satan, and delivered from fear and death. Praise the Lord. We also have Victoria testifying of being healed of excessive bleeding. After the prayer of the man of God, she is made whole, the bleeding ceased, and she is totally free. Praise the Lord. Timothy Ademola is testifying of how God healed him from leg pain. He said, after the prayer of the man of God, after the last amen, he received the touch of God. And he's also extending this his, um, prayer of miracle to his daughter who is in the hospital, who we believe that through the prayer of the man of God, she has received her healing. Praise the Lord. On the Deeper Life Facebook page, we have Oluwa Twin a full lion, testifying of being healed of severe neck pain that has been lingering. But after the prayer of the man of God, the, she, he is now free from that pain and can move the neck left, right. The pain is no longer there. Praise the Lord. And now we return to the moderating pastor while we bring you other striking testimonies from online. Let's rejoice with them as they minister to us now before we come back. Next testifier. With me here is Sister Precious Akpam. You can go ahead and share a testimony. Praise the Lord. My name is Precious, and by His grace, I'm saved. I want to testify of what God did for me during the, the global crusade here at Taraba. 
ours diagnose of abnormal bleeding, and it, when it comes, it lasts for six months. And it causes a lot of physical uh, stress, mental stress, and so much of problems to my family. Then the global crusade came about, uh, the Taraba crusade came about. The last day of the, uh, the program, that was when I got my healing. And from that day till now, it has been on a normal. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Our sister, she has what we call dysfunctional uterine bleeding or six months bleeding from the uterus. But after the prayer of the man of God, she will receive an instantaneous healing. Praise the Lord. Thank you. 